Hi, and welcome to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we're going to talk to you so briefly about my uh, 425 ballistics and their weights. So before we get started, remember, youtube.com backslash user backslash attend Rob Rowe, and at rumble.com, uh, hit that uh, link up at the top called video, that drop box, and put in channel. And then search uh, uh, Utah Crossbow Hunter, all one word. And also hit the subscribe button on both of them. And on Rumble, hit the plus sign. On YouTube, of course, the thumbs up. And ring that bell on YouTube so you know when I got another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter coming your way. So with that said, let's get into today's show. Okay, as you can see up there, I've already got some uh, my weights already in there. Uh, the reason I did that is just a real brief um, overview of the weights of my arrows. And basically, I'm pretty satisfied with the weights. Um, I mean, they're maybe four grains, four and a half grains off a little bit. But I think when I add on the, uh, the field tips and the broadheads, it might even out. But again, like I said before, it's going to be six and six. So I'll have uh, three arrows left over. So I could probably toss out some arrows. Not really toss them out, but um, mix and match and get everything probably within pretty close. But again, um, I would prefer be doing these Nitro 500s uh, pros from um, uh, Gold Tip just because I love these arrows. They're a heavier arrow. It would be great for you no know, larger animals because uh, their kinetic energy on those is outstanding. But um, uh, let's see if we go over here. Um, yeah, let's go over here real quick. Uh, let's see. There we go. So you can see my kinetic energy is up there pretty good with these. But I have a feeling but with my uh, kinetic energy on these gold tips will be sufficiently lower maybe 20 feet per second um, with these or 20 uh, down 20 can connect energy or, tw or 10 or 20 I don't know but we'll find out later on but who knows when that's going to be um, so like this is a, again this is a multiple part we, we uh, did my spinner test on the first one everything looked good now we did my weights so now the next episode, we'll be adding on the field tips and the uh, broadheads to my arrows. And hopefully, I guess it says, hopefully we'll leave things out here a little bit. So with that said, let's come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so... Um, Again, you know, I, I would much prefer to use these Nitro 500s uh, Pros by Gold Tip, but uh, trying to find those, I like finding a lot of stuff, has been kind of tough. Um, but so we're going with these 425 Ballistics uh, by Gold Tip. Um, I really like these Gold Tip barrels. They're strong, they're sturdy. Um, I've looked at you know, some of the off market brands, I really don't like them. Um, but we'll, again, we'll be using these green, let's see, can I get that green knock up there? No. It looks, to me, it looks like it's white on the screen, but it actually is a green knock. And I have some orange knocks that came with them, but I'll be doing, like I said, in, like I said in the previous video, we'll be doing some testing with those further down the line, you know, in visibility. I'd rather have the um, uh, light and knocks, but... I keep destroying my light and knocks, and I don't want to keep destroying those things. I really don't. So, um, with that said, remember, take care of your family. Family comes first, and by all means, get out there and, and hunt. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter.